Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Timothy. I'm from the University of the Districts of Columbia. I'm working with two of my colleagues uh, from engineering. I'm a computer scientist. So the title of my presentation is on a time series analysis and forecast of COVID-19 healthcare disparity. The motivation of our study, uh, we find out that during this COVID, despite the fact that African-Americans are 30% of the population, but they are disproportionately impacted by COVID-19. Number one, data shows that compared to white non-Hispanics, Blacks are 1.4 times more likely to contract COVID-19. Two, data shows that Blacks are 3.7 times being hospitalized after contracting the disease. And three, Blacks are 2.8 times more likely to die after hospitalization. These numbers are a source of concern to us. So our project objective is to design, develop, and evaluate a data-driven decision-making approach to COVID-19 disparities. We're using time series analysis and forecasting modeling. The goal is to reduce the spread of COVID-19 and improve mitigation strategies to combating the disease disparate impact. Our methodology, number one, the data collection. So data set were obtained from state COVID dashboard, from COVID tracking project and Boston University Center for Anti-Racist Research Dashboard. We define the following. Number one, the black COVID-19 debt, so total COVID-19 debt, we call that BTDR. Two, we define black COVID-19 cases to total COVID-19 cases, we call that BTCR. Finally, we have CHCD, which is the COVID-19 healthcare disparity, we define it as BTDR minus BTCR. This we did in the states that we considered for our experiment. So on my screen, you can you see um, that we, we our experiment was run December 13, 2020. So we have the time series analysis of COVID-19 cases and deaths in black communities. Data analysis was based on selected states with modest to significant black population. So as you see on my screen, the state considered include Florida with 18% percentage uh, black, Georgia, 34% blacks, Maryland, 33% black, Mississippi, 39% black, North Carolina, 24%, South Carolina, 28%, Pennsylvania, 30%, and Virginia, 21%. On the screen, you see some graph. Um, we have four graphs. So on the rightmost at the top is black cases of as of December 13, 2020. On the left, to it is the total cases as of December 13, 2020. Then the lower left is total debt as of December 13, 2020. And the right hand side is black debt as of December 13, 20. Our graphs are divided to three quarters. Three quarters because um, COVID came in March. So the, the major catastrophe started in April. So unlike under the calendar years that's supposed to be divided into four, we start we divide our uh, the COVID came to three quarters. So from April to December, we have three quarters. So it started in quarter one. You can see the trajectory of the graph, the time series graph as it moved. Now we computed the, the table below. So this table is a source of concern. Uh, on the state, you can see the state we considered, total cases, black cases, the BTCR, total debt, black debt, BTDR and CHCD. In Florida, as we see, the cases as, as of December 13 was more than a million. Out of these cases, the black, blacks were 146,000. When we computed the black uh, black cases to total cases ratio, which is just black cases divided by total cases, it was 12.65. Then at that same time, the total debt in that state was, was 20,000 plus, out of which 3,000 plus were black. But when you computed the BTDR, which is the black debt to total debt, it came as 16.89. 
here is the disparity. The, when we consider cases, we had 12.65 as PTC here. What that suggests is that at the time of this experiment, out of every 100 cases of, of COVID, 12, more than 12 were black. But when we move to those who died, so 16.89 means that out of every 100 cases of those who contracted COVID and died, more than 16 were black. The same thing happened in Georgia. It was 27.18, meaning that out of every 100 people that contracted the disease, 27 were black. But when you look at the BTDR, that is the black death to total death, it means that out of every 100 people that died of COVID, 34.87 were black. So the pattern is the same in all the states that we consider. And it is a source of concern to our study. And what, what happened? How come um, 12.65? All of a sudden, they jumped to 6.89, and the CHCD, that is the COVID 19 healthcare disparity, is every, every other state we consider, they are in red. And we can say that um, COVID is synonymous with wherever you find a black man. Uh, I live in Maryland, and the counties that are more affected are Montgomery County, Prince George's County, and Baltimore County. And these are the predominantly black. So the pattern is the same, you know. In, Every, every state in the country where you find a large population of the blood. So this graph answers our first question. The first question is, is there healthcare disparity? So this first graph shows that yes, it exists. The second question now is, will COVID-19 healthcare disparity continue? So in answering this question, we built these models. So we did forecasting uh, COVID-19 cases and deaths in black communities for March 31, 2021. So our forecasting model, we built um, eight of them. And we decided to build eight to take care of some unknowns. Some of the states had what we call trend. Some states had both trend and seasonality. So we decided to build models for both trend and seasonality. And either you consider trend or seasonality, it turns out that COVID-19 healthcare disparity will still continue. For instance, in Florida, forecasting to March 31, we see that the BT, the BTCR forecast here will be like 11.14. Then the BTDR will still be 15.08. With the exception of South Carolina, which is an outlier, our experiment shows that COVID-19 healthcare disparity Mostly in the black community, we still com we still continue, and for our norm, we don't have we do not have the answer, but we built only a forecasting model from uh, December of last year till March 31st. In conclusion, the result of our experiment suggests that COVID-19 healthcare disparity exists in the black community, and we continue at least to the end of the first quarter of 2021. Thank you very much.